the Bunkai live stream is upon us. So with that being said and done, play my intro. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is your bud, the Death Smasher, and welcome back to yet another Bleach Brave Souls video. And in less than 24 hours from now, the Bankai livestream is actually going to drop. They're going to reveal some new info that we can basically expect to come, as well as an early preview of end of the month. We're definitely going to see what characters we're going to get and how the gameplays are going to be, but the stats and skills won't be until a day later. So with this, this is obviously going to be a celebration because very soon in October 10th, the Bleach anime is finally making a return. So with this, they're starting a new campaign and we can definitely expect a good amount of stuff. So as you guys can see here, at 1 o'clock p.m. Central European time, we're going to be getting the Brave Souls news and then at uh, 2 30 uh, p.m central european time again we're getting the second half and the rest is just gonna be just uh you know stuff that the voice actors are basically gonna do and of course uh people are gonna be taking a look back at famous scenes from bleach so possibly there is gonna be clips from the bleach anime and i'll say this right now i don't plan on streaming the actual bankai live stream for when it goes live just because i want to avoid getting the actual copyright so me and my friends uh what we're gonna do is that we're gonna watch the live stream but we're just gonna make it as a video directly so that way i can just upload it on my channel and uh, you guys get the full reaction out of what we get because i literally only care what we get for the game and what we can expect so the first things that i want to point out is since this is uh, gonna be a celebration and it's heavily hinting about the thousand year blood war arc we're definitely gonna get thousand year blood war as end of the month for this month of October. So what can we expect? Well, the first character that is easily going to come onto my mind has to be Ichigo. Seriously, Death Smasher and Ichigo, we already have enough of those. Stop with it. Shut the f*** up. You do realize this is the main character, right? Caleb is always going to keep on re-releasing Ichigo as many times to pretty much make money. Like, do you guys see Dokkan Battle and Dragon Ball Legends with how many Gokus we have? Quit your complaining about it, because it's pretty goddamn stupid. And secondly, this is not going to be a remake of the previous Thousand and Blower Ichigos that we've had in the game, but more than likely going to be a full bring Ichigo. And I'm talking about full bring into Bunkai. We can definitely expect that to happen because Ichigo does fight against Eburn and Kilge in the first episodes of the Thousand Year Blower arc. So who else can come besides Ichigo? Well, the answer is pretty easy. We could potentially get Kilge for the first time. Now, they did already make his model. It's actually in the Thousand Year Blood War story arc that was pretty much removed uh, two years ago. So very likely that they'll do him first. They'll definitely polish up his model and just, you know, make it easier to pretty much release the character. So we can definitely expect him to come alongside Ichigo for end of the month. And then the next character, more than likely going to be Eburn. I know there are a lot of people that don't want this character, but whether we want him or not, he's going to come regardless. He's a thousand year blow character, so who cares? It's going to come regardless. And that's basically what I'm going to be predicting for end of the month, like most people have already done so. If it's not them, then it's more than likely going to be remakes of older thousand year blower characters, considering there's Tetsu Inada coming in to the actual Banka livestream. Possible remakes of round one can happen. We don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. And there's also going to be uh, the voice of Uryu. So who knows? Maybe a remake of Uryu would be possible. But like, that's literally what I'm speculating right now. It's either going to be those three characters that I mentioned or remakes. But realistically speaking, I think it's best that we get new characters since the anime is going to be dropping soon. And it's just a better way to pretty much celebrate the release of the anime. So I think that's going to happen. Now, as for what we can expect from the whole entirety of the celebration, uh, quality of life updates, I don't think we're going to get much as they're just going to preview 
the entirety of what we were supposed to get on September 21st, which then got pushed back to September 27th. And I'm talking about this stuff right here, the beginner's mark and assist points, and of course, the sets for the epic raids, the adjustments to the inventory screen, and of course, when we do get the revamped beginner's challenge orders, which everyone in the game will actually be able to do, so yeah. We're gonna definitely get that previewed, and in terms of new updates, we don't know. We can pretty much expect anything that can happen in the Bankai livestream. And yeah, other than that, the only thing that I can pretty much think into my mind in terms of the overall Bankai livestream is how the banner is gonna be and if we're gonna get a move source. Now, considering this is gonna be a celebration, odds are we are gonna be getting a special move source for the actual campaign, which only makes sense at the end of the day. The anime is returning, so we're probably gonna get that. As for what attribute, I don't know. I'm more so leaning towards speed because we have not gotten that for the second rotation of the special move sources, so it's about time we get that. And if it's not that, then it's just gonna be a random special move source. We'll just have to wait and see for that. And uh, yeah, only time will tell. And then the banner format, because this is a celebration, I do see a repeat where when they actually showed Azashiro, Kuryashiki, and Kanpachi, they made it into a seven step banner. So instead of seeing these types of banners that you guys see right here, where it's 25 steps, it's six characters, is a 4.5 for a featured character and a 1.5 for an unfeatured unit, more than likely it is going to be uh, 6% for the featured and then 8% for the unfeatured and it's only going to be 6 steps with step 7 possibly just being the 8% pool and no guarantees repeating itself which is a bad banner format so I'm hoping that's not the case but knowing Caleb every time we get a celebration whether it be anniversary or even end of year they always tend to do this and since they did it with the Kenpachi banner sadly that's what we're gonna expect so i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comment section below this is just what i'm predicting overall from the bankai live stream that is going to be dropping tomorrow so yeah these are basically all my thoughts summed up now let me know what you guys think in the comment section below do you guys agree or disagree would like to know your actual thoughts and uh with that being said uh i'll see you guys uh tomorrow for when uh the bankai live stream comes out i am working on a, a brand new revamped beginner's guide in which it includes all the topics of transcendence link slot levels how to make your unit stronger with the accessories and links so for any new player out there that is just getting into the game i hope you guys do look forward to that anyways this has been your by the death smasher and i hope to see you guys all in the next video so take care lads peace out <laughs>